Come on. No. Well, I can't take it back to Yale. I'm not storing your microbe mattress. Forget it. Well, then I'm stuck here. Fine, because I need my truck back. Fine, but that leaves you with the mattress. I'm not taking the mattress. Then let me take the truck. But that means you take the mattress. I can't take the mattress. Then you can't have the truck. Mm, but that sticks you with the mattress. <sighs> if you take the truck, it comes with the mattress. I can't take the mattress. Then you can't have the truck. And that sticks you with the mattress. We've been here before. I recognize that tree. Jess and Dean got into the fight. Over you. I was a contributing factor. Was anyone hurt? No. And that's why the cops came and broke up the party? Yes. So not only did you go to a cop-rated party, but you started the raid? Yes. This fence is broken because of you. This crap is on the ground because of you. What's your point? Did you ever know that you're my hero? Oh, my God. You're everything I would like to be. Uh, I can fly higher than an eagle. Because you are the wind beneath my... morning carefully tracking that motion detector. What an excellent use of your time. Good, as long as we stay on the path. So I should follow the yellow stick road? <laughs> we'll be here all week, ladies and gentlemen. Try the veal. Stop. What? Read. Crouch down and hop. Oh, come on. The motion detector beam at the top of the staircase dips very low over there. You seriously want me to crouch down and hop? Like a little hunchback bunny. You know, I had decided that if I ever went to therapy, I was going to leave you out of it, but now... Okay, you can stand up. Did you at least call the stupid security company again? Yes, Meg sends her love. Don't worry, I'll stop by my way to the inn. And what are your plans today, Persis Kambata? Well, today I'm going to do nothing but hang out in town, read, veg, drink coffee, and have the perfect star solo day. <laughs> Luck out. I get to go over to the inn and hear a contractor laugh at me every time I say, but that won't cost too much more, right? Enjoy. Late lunch at Luke's? You're on. So, uh, which way do I go? Oh, um, just follow the post-its. But they're going in two different directions. They are? Look. Oh, I must have kicked some out of the way by accident. Well, which one do I take? Which one looks more intentional? No post-it path looks intentional. I'm drawing a complete blank. You seriously don't remember? Sorry. Well, how are we supposed to get out of our house? I hate Kirk. It sounds like you're overthinking this. Maybe if you just put pen to paper. I tried that. I thought, I'll just sit down and write. Whatever comes. No judgment. No inner critic. Boy, was that a bad idea. Really? Why? Because my brain is a wild jungle full of scary gibberish. I'm writing a letter. I can't write a letter. Why can't I write a letter? I'm wearing a green dress. I wish I was wearing my blue dress. My blue dress is at the cleaners. The Germans wore gray. You wore blue. Casablanca. Casablanca is such a good movie. Casablanca, the White House. Bush. Why don't I drive a hybrid car? I should really drive a hybrid car. I should really take my bicycle to work. Bicycle, unicycle, unitard, hockey puck, rattlesnake, monkey, monkey, underpants. <laughs> hockey puck, rattlesnake, monkey, monkey, underpants? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's a big bag of weird. Don't slow down! My shoes are slippery. Fuck it up! Hey! Hi, Christopher! Chris, you remember Suki and Jackson? Yeah, nice to see you again. You too. Nice day for a wedding. Beautiful. Perfect weather. Why are we running? 58 feet, 62 Koreans. Run for me, baby! I'm on it! In. I need the hat rack. The fish flies at night. What? I don't know. Who is this? Turnip greens. Turns out they got a sick amount of folic acid. <laughs> what else did we get? Squash, zucchini, tofu. Special calcium fortified tofu. And the calcium is real important because you're not eating some of your previous calcium sources, like soft cheese. You're not eating soft cheese, are you? No, no. I'm not having any soft cheese. <laughs> And no sushi? And no duck. We don't want the babies to have web feet. So the duck sushi I had for lunch was probably a mistake. Oh. Well, I'm kidding. What things? Excuse me, boys. I have to get out everything she has ever given us. 35 years worth of fish lamps and dog statues, lion tables, and stupid naked angels with their butts and... Whoa. Stupid naked angel butts? What, did David Mamet just stop by? Leave, please. Mom, calm down. I can't calm down. That lampshade is missing and the china is cracked and I can't remember which table it is that she gave us for our 10-year anniversary. Mother, Grandma is a very old woman. I highly doubt that she's going to remember everything she ever bought you. She will remember down to the last shrimp fork. And do you know why? No. Do you guys know why? Because she doesn't just give you a present. She gives you a present. Then she tells you where to put it, how to use it, what it costs for insurance purposes, of course. And God forbid you should have a different opinion or you don't think it works in the space or you just get tired of waking up every morning with those horrifying animals staring at you. She's just upset. Stop talking to the dog! I'm sorry. 
Everyone back to your test. Miss Gilmore, you're gonna have to wait in the library. But what about the test? I'm afraid you've missed the test. No. We start class promptly at 8.05. No. That's when I need people to be in their seats. Please. I'm sorry, it's the rules. But you don't understand. I was up all night studying, and then I missed my bus, so I had to drive. Oh, let's discuss this outside. So I'm driving down this road, and I stop, and I get hit by a deer. You hit a deer? No, I got hit by a deer. You don't believe me? I've got antler prints on the side of my mother's car. Rory, come on. No, you have to let me take this test. I'm ready for this test. I know everything there is to know about Shakespeare. Okay, okay, you need to calm down now. I know his birth date and his mother's name and the kind of ink he is. And just what is wrong with you, huh? You already have everything. You already have the grades and the status. What the hell is wrong with you that you have this constant need to be the biggest jerk in the entire world? Okay, let's go. Huh? What's up? What's up, Quippy? Why so silent? Outside, now. And for the last time, the name is Rory! It wasn't the right moment. I was about to when Grandpa came in. He interrupted, and now Grandma's mad, so I'm sorry if it seems to you like I chickened out, but I didn't, and now it's just gonna have to wait.